Okay, Tony, we have speed. In three, two, one. And you are live. Hi, I'm Tony, back with more practical drone pilot business strategies. Okay, so you've pitched your drone services. The prospects seem fairly impressed and everything felt like it was on the perfect glide slope. But now they've gone silent and you're wondering what the heck? So why is it that sometimes after delivering what felt like a peach of a pitch, the final commitment slips away, leaving us perplexed about what just happened and more importantly, what should we do next? Like us, every drone pilot faces the same challenge of turning what seemed like a perfect pitch into a signed contract and a satisfied new client. Listen, closing a deal isn't just about making a strong case for your aerial services. It's about knowing how to confidently navigate the post-pitch phase. And this is the final step in the sales process where the prospect often feels most apprehensive and is most likely to object. Right now, we examine the seven critical steps you need to consider and apply after the pitch to ensure you're profitably converting your hellos to sales profits. Drone Pilot MBA, Closing Deals 101, that's our focus inside this special issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine. Thanks for joining us. Well, you made it through the hard part. Introducing your unique drone services, delivering a solid pitch, and impressing the prospect with your drone expertise. But then, crickets. So now we've got a prospect that isn't moving forward. Your once promising lead seems to be slipping right through your fingers. And you're stuck in limbo, waiting for them to commit to a contract. Another one of our fellow drone colleagues, Luke T. from the beautiful Oregon coast writes the following, I've been droning for about two years and seem to have little problem pitching my drone services. However, I find myself struggling with closing sales. What key strategies should I focus on to overcome the struggle and close more deals? Yes, Luke. For drone service providers, the post-pitch phase is the place where most deals go to die. Look, it's one thing to spark the initial interest, but guiding the client from intrigue to action is a whole other aerial extravaganza. Let's proceed and tackle this exact issue to help all our drone pilot cohorts to close more deals once the pitch is made. Here now, Drone Pilot MBA, Closing Deals 101, and the seven steps to closing more deals after the pitch. Step number one is reaffirm value and revisit key benefits. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Reinforce key benefits, focus on the client's specific needs, and send a follow-up message. After the pitch, clients often go into silent consideration mode, weighing their options. Now's the time to reaffirm the unique value your drone service offers. Be sure not to overwhelm them with technical jargon. Instead, remind them of the key benefits that achieve their goal, solve their problem, and satisfy their need. A quick follow-up email or call focused on the outcomes you can deliver can reignite their interest and nudge them toward affirmative action the signed contract. (music) 
Step number two is offer a decision timeline. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Give a clear deadline, create urgency, limited availability, expiring offers, and encourage faster decisions. Prospects often drag their feet because there's no clear timeline to finalize a decision. There's no sense of urgency. Knowing that it's you who controls the sale, politely offer a deadline by explaining the urgency, whether it's based on limited availability, upcoming projects, or even an expiring offer. Our goal is to apply light pressure without seeming too pushy, encouraging the client to make a choice sooner rather than later. Up next, we discuss how to handle post-pitch objections to close more deals. Step number three is handling post-pitch objections. The bullets for this step focus on these three key actions. Encourage the client to express concerns. Address objections directly. And remove hesitation and build confidence. Even after a world-class sales pitch, unspoken objections can linger whether it's cost, uncertainty, or fear of commitment. Encourage the client to voice any abiding concerns so you can address them head-on. Go ahead and actually ask the prospect, what are we missing? Then wait and say nothing. Let the prospect answer. The first one who talks loses. Once you're able to surface these post-pitch objections, you can then resolve them directly, removing barriers and making it easier for the client to say yes. Step number four is to provide social proof. The bullets for this step focus on these three key actions. Share testimonials and case studies. Highlight relevant successful projects. And build trust with real-world results. At the post-pitch stage, prospects often need clarification and reassurance. This is where social proof, testimonials, case studies, and industry-specific examples are your best allies. Show them how similar clients have benefited from your service. Highlight successful projects that resonate with their needs and demonstrate your reliability. Real-world results from past clients help alleviate hesitation and build trust which confidently persuades the prospect to proceed with the project contract. Step number five is create a risk-free trial or guarantee. The bullets for this step focus on these three key actions. Offer a pilot project or satisfaction guarantee. Reduce the perceived risk and make it easier for clients to say yes. Sometimes prospects stall because they're unsure taking the risk, especially if it's their first time working with a drone service provider. This is where you offer a risk-free trial or a satisfaction guarantee to ease their concerns. Whether it's a pilot project or a money-back guarantee on a portion of the work, this strategy will reduce the perceived risk in their mind, making it easier 
for the prospect to feel confident enough to move all in with a signed contract. Step number six is maintain the relationship and don't disappear. The bullets for this step focus on three key actions. Check in without being pushy. Send value-driven updates. And stay present until they decide. Going quiet after your pitch can lead to prospects forgetting about you or losing momentum. If this is the case... Stay present without being overbearing. Regularly check in with friendly, value-driven updates, not to push for the sale, but to maintain the relationship. These touch points can be a brief but thoughtful email with relevant industry insights or a follow-up call to see how they're progressing in their decision-making process. Up next, we discuss how to ask for the sale and close the deal. And finally, step number seven is ask for the close directly and confidently. The bullets for this step focus on these three key actions. Confidently ask for the sale. Offer a clear next step. Finalization, could be scheduling, and remove ambiguity. It may sound simple, but after the pitch, many drone pilots hesitate to ask for the sale. Once you've covered all the bases, such as reassuring the client, addressing concerns, and building trust, don't be afraid to directly ask them to move forward. You believe in yourself and what you do. Be confident and clear in your ask, offering a specific next step like finalizing paperwork or scheduling a project start date. Remember, if you don't ask for the sale, the answer will always be no. The clearer and more direct you make the path to closure, the more likely they are to take it and sign the contract. Okay, here's your takeaway. Closing a deal post-pitch is a delicate balancing act of reassurance, persistence, and confidence. While our prospects may have seemed fully on board during the initial presentation, the real work begins in guiding them across the finish line. By reaffirming your value, addressing concerns, and gently stirring the conversation toward action, we'll find ourselves closing more deals with less frustration. To be a master closer, you need more than just a solid pitch. You need to maintain momentum, overcome post-pitch objections, and guide your prospect toward commitment. By following these seven steps, you'll convert more hard-earned prospects into paying clients and propel your drone service business to even greater success. That's a wrap for this Drone Pilot Business Strategy Session, Drone Pilot MBA, Closing Deals 101. I want to thank Luke for his great question today, and you'll find more information and important links pertaining to today's strategy session in the description below. Also, I have written and published over 150 articles related to drone business expansion strategies to help your business grow wisely. 
Help yourself to all the available free resources to help you fortify your drone service business at aerialnorthwest.com. I hope you found today's insights valuable. If you did, please do click the like button. And for more upcoming practical drone pilot tips and tactics, please freely subscribe to the channel. I will continue to work hard to bring you the best of drone business strategy. Like Luke, should you have questions or would like to share your ideas in a future issue of Drone Business Strategy Magazine, do drop them in the comments section below. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and fun flights. I'm Tony Marino. Thanks for watching and keep on droning. Looks good. I like it. I like it. I like it. I... <laughs> to more profitably thrive. To more profitably thrive. Do I have lint on the shirt? Because last time I had like a really crazy hair on my shirt most of the time. Managing invoices, tracking expenses, and filing taxes. 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 <laughs> As a soldier in Jeva Shamanam. You're in the thick of it. <laughs> Testing one, two. <laughs> Test, are your ears bleeding? You're juggling flights. Do we have like balls? I could do some juggling if you want to. <laughs> As a soul drone, <laughs> throw the ball and I can juggle. If you have any questions, let us know. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you'd like to hire us, you can get more information by visiting aerialnorthwest.com. Be smart, safe, and fly responsibly.